Strada Bianca, the opening race of the UCI Women's World Tour season. Already an icon on the racing calendar, this year's course ran over 127 kilometres and included 30 kilometres of gravel roads. Both previous editions have been won by Bowles Dolman's riders and last year's winner Lizzie Dynan returned to defend her title. Last year I was probably in close to the shape of my life, I'd say. I didn't realise it at the time, but looking back at the kind of training files going into it, I, I was in extremely good form. And this year I'm a little bit short on intervals coming into this like intensity I've not really had in training. There's been a few kind of ups and downs, so um, not in the same shape, but still here to try and do something. Well, yeah, it's my first time and um, of course it's already uh, an heroic race so uh, everybody is really looking forward to this, I think. Um, I've done a, the final uh, reckon of the, of the course and it's, yeah, it's really hard. It, uh, it's, it's, it's terribly hard and with this, um, yeah, with this weather conditions it's going to be uh, even, even more selective. Of course it's nice to have a strong team and uh, Kasia is, uh, is really strong. Um, she showed it already in the Newsblood, uh, and this race even suits her uh, better. Last year she was second, so she's really uh, aiming for the victory. And uh, yeah, I'll see uh, if I can be up there too. I'm feeling very confident because I have a very strong team, and I come from a very good result in the past years. Um, I will see today how I will feel. Uh, it's pretty chilly outside, and it's going to be a bit rainy. Um, but I'm all right, and I hope for a tough race. After the rollout under grey skies in Siena, the pace quickly picked up, reducing the peloton down to a group of 54 riders after five sectors of the famous white roads. A perfect time then for Florcha Mackay of Team Sunweb and Lauren Stevens of Tibco SVB to make a break for it, the two stretching their advantage to 1 minute 28 seconds. They reached the seventh gravel sector ahead. But with cyclocross expert Christine Majerus pulling for her Bowles Dolman's team at the front of the peloton, they were soon pulled back. A trio of Elisa Longo Borghini, Kasia Nivia Doma, and Lizzie Dynan took the opportunity to launch a decisive escape of their own. On the slopes of Colle Pinzuto, with gradients reaching 15%, they pulled away, taking two Orica Scott riders with them, Annemiek van Floyten and Katrien Garfurt. With 15 kilometers to go, the weather turned for the worse. And while the front group of five looked to each other to do the work, Stevens, Ashley Mormon Passio and Yannicka Ensing jumped out of the chasing group. This effort only lasted until the final gravel road, when they were swallowed up by a group headed by WM3's Mariana Voss. The breakaway's advantage narrowed to 11 seconds on the climb to La Tolfa. The effort told for Garfoot, the Australian national champ losing ground on the other leaders, joining back with them eight kilometres to the finish. In the chasing group, a series of attacks. Italian champion Elena Cecchini was brought back. But then Shara Gillo of FDJ wasn't. Lucinda Brand, already with a pro win this season, chased in hot pursuit.
The five leaders, Longo Borghini, Nivia Doma, Garfoot, Dynan and Van Floyten, who had been sitting comfortably at the front, were punished for watching each other too long. A surprise move as Gillo jumped them all. Brand, not far behind, did the same, using the wide stretch of road and immediately passing the lone Australian. Powering through the slick bends, Brand made it under the Flam Rouge on her own and through the archway of the old city walls towards the iconic finale of this race. Gillow briefly rejoined the Dutch woman on the punishing lower slope, but their previous efforts had taken their toll. Sensing a chance, the quintet behind them charged up the final climb. Longo Borghini and Nivia Doma were neck and neck as they both passed Brand on either side. But the key to winning the race is positioning through the final set of corners. Longo Borghini took the perfect run in, with the young Polish rider unable to find a way past her. Once through the final right-hander, the Italian was the sure winner, a famous first victory in this race for the home nation. Followed shortly after by Nivia Doma, second place for a second year running. And last year's winner, Lizzie Dynan, completed the podium. What a race by Elisa Longo Borghini on that final climb. Uh, today for me it feels even more special because I crashed very hardly on the long um, sector of gravel. And then I managed to come back. Cordon gave me her bike and uh, then I managed to have my spare bike when we went out of that gravel section and today I really would like to, to thank my team for the work they, they did. Again second place so somehow I feel a bit, a bit of disappointment but also I know okay I lost it with a really strong Elisa she proved it already last week with the two races in Belgium that she's incredibly strong I know that my team gave me a lot of support today and they work really hard and believe in me I also know that uh, I was strong enough to win but uh, at the final I should just pass Elisa in that uh, straight road after the steep part because otherwise you are not gonna to win it and I knew it but I didn't do it. It was a strange race I think because you know we were racing with four and normally we would kind of be aggressive and make the race but nobody really took it on and it, eventually it kind of came down to us anyway and we um, we split it up on two sections to go of gravel so that you know Christine Majerus did an incredible job leading me into one of those sections and I just thought well the position's good, I might as well take it on. I'm not used to it, I'm just, some, I'm just struggling normally and now I have the World Tour jersey. I have no words for this. <laughs> Confirmation then of the podium. Elisa Longo Borghini, the home nation's first winner of the race. Lucinda Brandt, who looked set to win at one point, came in fourth at eight seconds, with fellow Dutch woman Annemiek van Floyten close behind, one of three Orica Scott riders in the top ten. The women's world tour rankings mirror the race top ten in week one, with Longo Borghini donning the jersey. 21-year-old Cecily Utrup Ludwig swaps her Cervelo Bigler jersey for the blue jersey of the Women's World Tour youth leader, ahead of Astana's Sofia Bejin and Team Sunweb's Florcha Mackay. <laughs>